Hi guys, uh, greetings of the day, myself uh, Vijay Tavardhan and in this session we are going to discuss about uh, an isometric projection problem and it is like this. A cone of base diameter 40 mm and height 50 mm is centrally over a frustum of pentagonal pyramid of base side 45 mm and top side 35 mm and height 55 mm. Draw the isometric projections of the solid. So according to the given question, uh, a cone is resting on a first time of pentagonal pyramid and its orthographic projection is going to look like this. Now one can observe that uh, the orthographic projections when we observe that uh, only one side of the pentagon is uh, parallel to the isometric axis and others are uh, inclined lines. So hence we have to enclose these inclined lines into a box which is going to form a parallel edges to the isometric axis then we can easily complete this drawing because the isometric in case of isometric the inclined lines cannot be drawn at a given inclination so keeping in this mind we have to locate these edges which is parallel to isometric axis first and then we have to complete the solution so for which we are doing the things here and the respective lines or the measurements which is uh, most necessary we are taking these dimensions and in detail about how to take these measurements and how to solve this everything is in detail with the minute level we have already discussed in the basics so i'll just should go through the things uh, using those basics now the first length is supposed to be 69.25 and it is a uh, inclined at an angle of 30 degree and then second length is 78 so 72.81 at angle of uh, 150 degree again uh, 69.25 at an angle of minus 150 and we can connect back the first point otherwise we can give 72.18 and we can complete the angle of minus 30 degree and then using a line thickness of 0.5 millimeter one can construct the pentagon like this and all such information is already shown to you guys i'm just uh, using the technique and uh, completing the drawing at the faster rate now this dimension is supposed to be 13.91 and again here these dimension are also necessary at 13.91 and then the remaining these two edges that is one is at 42.8 and the other side is also 42.8 and now I can say that uh, the construction of pentagon is completed in all aspects and then uh, whatever the construction lines we have drawn so these construction lines can be deleted which is no more required so we have constructed the 45 mm sides of the pentagon here and once we got the 45 mm sides of the constructions and then uh, make use of a line from i so let me draw a two perpendicular bisectors to get the intersection point so this is going to be the apex position sorry axis position now we know that the axis of this pentagonal pyramid is 55 mm so let me draw a 55 mm high and this line is supposed to be in the form of a chain line with a 0.13 mm thickness then the pentagon which is at the bottom uh, using the command called as move we will uh, replace this pentagon at a height of 55 mm so now along with that one can see that the axis of the selector so we can remove it and then uh, what I am going to do is, I am going to select this pentagon and then along with this pentagon, we are going to reduce the size of the pentagon from uh, 45 to 35 using a command called as scale factor. Now using a scale factor, so 35 by 45 is going to be the scale factor so that it is going to reduce to the 35 mm side. And then using a line command, let me connect the slant edges properly to the respective edges so here one should be a little bit cautious uh, so that uh, we can draw the lines properly now we can see that these are the three uh, invisible base edges can be deleted otherwise it can be written as a thin lines and after which we have to construct a cone of uh, base diameter 40 millimeter for a height of 50 millimeter so for which we have to construct a circle in the form of an ellipse of size 40 millimeter first so 40, 30, 40, 150, 40 minus 150 and 40 minus 30. So that we have got a square. Now in the square we have to do these constructions for an ellipse. 
Now the ellipse is going to be constructed by the technique called as four arc method. And now using the arc by center point command, we are going to draw the four different arcs. So this is one and this is going to be two and this is going to be three and this is going to be the four. Now these are the four arcs which has to be represented and using a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 and a chain line. Now from the center of the ellipse we have to draw an axis height for the distance of 50 millimeter and using a 0.5 mm thick and a continuous line. Now from the apex we can connect this point to point on element and tangent and the same thing we are going to do here also. So this is tangential to this line that is the line which we are going to draw here is tangent and then it is going to be connected to this point. So point on element and tangent. Now one can see that we have got the required constructions uh, then make use of the trim command or the other commands so, so whatever is not required we can simply eliminate those lines so now let me remove those lines which is uh, not required for uh, our constructions and then using the trim command let me trim these portions and then this portion has to be eliminated and then the cone is construction is finished now using the move command switch off the copy of move and then the cone has to be moved from that location to here that is for the top base or top base of the pentagonal pyramid cluster. Now using the trim command uh, behind the cone whatever the portions of the cluster of pyramid is there that can be removed. Now you can see that this view is going to give us the isometric view or isometric drawing. So now using a scale command using a scale command we are going to convert into the isometric projection using 0.8164 times. Now this completes the isometric projections of the given combinations as per the given conditions. Now if you are having any sort of doubts to solve this problem, feel free to contact me at any point of time. And please kindly like this video and share, subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be keep on getting the latest updates in my YouTube channel. Once again, thank you for watching my YouTube channel, guys.